guys, um, today I really fancy doing a video but I wasn't, didn't really know what to make a video about, I haven't got any like products to review specifically or anything like that so I asked on Twitter earlier if anyone had any suggestions and Lilith, also known as Ellis for Lil, suggested that I do a uh, what's in my bag type of video so I've done a couple of blog posts about that um, a couple of years ago um, but I've never done a video of it so I thought I just recently got a new bag so I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to do that. So first of all I'll just show you the bag. Um, I got this from Primark about a month or so ago. Um, it's just a big massive massive basic bag um, quite similar to those um, Zara ones that were going about um, recently. This was about £12 I think so pretty cheap. Um, Nice and big, fits all my uni stuff in it, so quite good. So I will just get started and pull some stuff out of it and see what comes out in no particular order. So, um, put all these ones together, as these ones are pretty same category. Um, lots of notebooks. Um, I had class this afternoon, but I only had one class, so I'm not entirely sure why I've got three notebooks with me, but. They're always useful, right? So, start with the smallest one. Um, this is one of the little moleskin notebooks. Um, I've been using this for uh, taking notes for my core class and I'll also use it for once I start taking notes for my dissertation because it's nice and small, you can easily fit it in your bag and take it to the library or to the archives or whatever. So, I haven't got much in it just now, but it's just like a general notebook, it's nice and small, I like it. Um, also got a slightly larger Moleskine notebook, um, one of the, uh, what's that, I can't remember what they're called, like a jotter or something. Um, I use this for just taking notes in my seminars, pretty self-explanatory really. Um, just I really like the feel of the paper, they are quite expensive like just for a notebook but I really like them and I like buying new stationery and stuff so it's a bit of a treat. Sad though it is, but I do enjoy buying notebooks. Um, last one's just like another simple line notebook. This one's also got like my class reading lists and notes and stuff. Oh and this this one was supposed to be taking notes in my seminar, but as you can see from the titles, took started taking notes one week, didn't actually write anything. Next week didn't actually write anything. That was this week, didn't actually write anything either, so that's not so good, but never mind. Um, also, I've got my um, Bilovax, which um, is really useful. I bought this a couple of years ago and I've used it so much. It's just so useful for like keeping track of what you're supposed to be doing and things like that. So, this is a Metropole Personal Organiser and I think this colour is called Raspberry. It's just like a nice bright pink. Um, you can get loads of like different inserts and stuff to put in uh, file boxes, but I mostly just use the like calendar thing, so you can see what you've got to do this week. Um, actually, this week I have nothing to do, <laughs> uh, which makes a change. But it's good for like writing down your uni deadlines or appointments you've got to go to stuff like that. So really love um, my file fax. I would definitely recommend getting one if you. Looking for a new diary for Christmas, perhaps. Um, next, also kind of uni related. Well, I say kind of uni related. Completely uni related is some books. I always have um, lots of books kicking around in my bag, either on my two or from the library. Um, or if I've got class on, I might take a book along with me to discuss it. Um, yeah, this book is like my bible basically. I think I've quoted this book in every single essay I've ever written pretty much. Um, big love for that. A um, bit of a Scottish history geek moment there. Next is my purse um, which is from River Island. Um, it's just like a nice art deco kind of type design. Gold and black. Um, it does have the massive like River Island logo on it but it's not too noticeable so can forgive it for that. Um, just a nice big purse, it's got space for like notes and coins and random receipts and stuff. 
um, and I usually keep in the front bit here my most used cards like my student card, my driving license and bank cards and then in the bit of this side keep ones don't use so often like my advantage card and rail card and stuff like that. And it's also got like a little handy bit at the back um, for yet more cards um, yeah like library cards and some here. Nando's card always useful yeah, I really like the design of this purse. It is starting to like, these bits are like coming off now, but I've had it for a couple of years now, so I think it's doing relatively well. Um, what's next? We've got a little oops, um, tote bag type affair, which is from Topshop. I think I got this uh, the student lock-in thing last year, or possibly the year before, I can't remember. It's just one of these like basic canvas tote bags um, I usually just have one of these shoved in my bag in case like I've been to the library and I've got loads of books to take back and they want to fit in my normal bag just pop some in here or if I like go to the shops on the way home just to like buy some like bread and milk and such I can just pop them in here instead of using a carrier bag so that's all it's really useful to have because they always fold up really small so it doesn't take up much space at all so that's always handy to have and um, also have an umbrella which is an essential if you're visiting Scotland um, or live in Scotland. Um, I haven't actually used this much recently but definitely have one in your bag all times. Um, I used to buy like nice ones, I used to have a really nice leopard print one but I always like leave them places or they turn inside out and get broken so now I just usually stick to like the cheapest black one basically um, so not very exciting I'm afraid but definitely necessary and um, next is some hair products just a little um, small brush and um, I prefer brushes to combs but this one's nice and small so it fits in my bag actually I think my granny brought me back this one from Italy or possibly Spain when I was about, I don't know, eight or nine or something. But it's quite a nice brush and it still works perfectly well, so it's perfect size for showing in my bag. And also we have some hairspray. This is the Tresemme um, Silent Finish Extra Hold. It's just like a small version of the big ones that I usually use. Um, yeah, just like a decent hairspray. It holds my hair pretty well, but it doesn't like look like all, like, what's the word? I don't know, what is the word? Like, crunchy? Yeah, whatever. Um, it's just a good hairspray basically, and it holds my hair without looking too artificial or whatever, so it's good for shoving in my bag. Um, next, in the little zippy pocket, so they don't get lost, I've got, if I can get them out, oh no, an assortment of things in here. Um, first up is my keys, um, very useful, well, I say useful, more like necessary to have with you at all times um, yeah just flat keys I've got a little um, frog keyring and uh, frogs are like my one of my top five favorite animals so um, people always used to give me like frog related gifts for Christmas and stuff so I have a little keyring from somewhere in the depths of time I've also got one of these little like, um, it's supposed to have like a monkey's face on it but I've had these keys for like th three or four years now so its face has unfortunately rubbed off but it helps me to like distinguish between which one's the front door key and which one's the flat door key because that can be very confusing when you're drunk. Um, got some chewing gum, usually I buy like the green kind but for some reason I've got the blue one I think must have stolen it from someone, I don't know. Oops. Um, and then 
got lots of black pens. These are very important. Um, I never ever write in blue pen because I think it looks horrible and ugh, just gives me the shudders writing in blue pen. So I always have plenty of black pens with me. Also have a little highlighter. I don't really use highlighters that often, but it's always handy to have one just in case you need it. And a pencil. Again, I never really use pencils, but in like the archives or the National Library and like stuff, places like that, they don't let you write in pen in case you like deface the books or something. So you have to take a pencil in, so that's why I've got one. But um, apart from that, I would never really use a pencil, but needs must. And then on to the final thing, um, we've got my little makeup bag. Um, this one is, it was part of like a free gift set from number seven a couple of years ago. It's just like kind of like translucent -y. um just small makeup bag. It's um, big enough like you can fit quite a few things in it, but it's not massive. So it's perfect size for going inside another bag. Um, so inside it we've got a little compact mirror. This one says Clarins on it. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I didn't buy this, I don't think. I think it must have been part of like a gift set or um, a f like a free gift when I bought something else or something, I don't know. But I have it and it's small so it fits in my bag. I um, also have my Lily Lolo foundation and a little brush to apply it with um, for doing touch-ups during the day, which is really handy. Um, some hair bobbles. I never really tie my hair up very often, but it's always handy to have some just in case. Um, same goes for lots of curvy grips. Never really use them, but always have some. And then I always seem to have millions of lip products in my bag. I don't really like tend to like collect anything else in my bag, but for some reason I always have loads of these kicking about. So I've got the Rimmel Lasting Finish A Thousand Kisses Lip Tint Balm thing, um, which I've done is just like a felt pen. I've done a review of it on my blog a while ago, so I will link to that. Also got the e.l.f. Mineral Moisturising Lip Tints. This one is the shade Rose. I also get a look at that. Also did a review of this on my blog um, last week I think so I will also link to that. And I've got some chapstick. Even if I'm like wearing lipstick or something I always carry chapstick around with me because it's just quite useful and if your lips are feeling a bit dry it's good to just wax some of this on. I've got the strawberry one. It smells really nice. Nothing much more to say about that really. And finally we've got the e.l.f. lipstick in the shade Voodoo, um, which is what I've got on just now. Um, it's just like a nice deep red colour, perfect for um, autumn. I don't really tend to wear bright lipsticks in the daytime, especially red, but um, I wore this to class today and I actually really like it. it even though it's like quite like a deep colour, it doesn't seem too like in your face. So I quite like that one for daytime actually. I think I'll get a lot of use out of that one. Um, so yeah, that was it. That's everything that's in my bag at the moment. And then um, that's the sort of general stuff that I carry around with me every day. Nothing too exciting, but is anyone's bag really particularly exciting? Probably not. Um, if you've done your own video of what's in your bag or a blog post or anything like that, leave a comment below and I will go and have a read of them. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching. Bye!